All right, guys. So today we're talking about noisy power steering. Now, there could be several different causes of this. The first one being low power steering fluid. Now, how this most cars work, there's a reservoir, which is right here on this car. It has lines that go down to the pump and then down to the rack and pinion, which is the part that steers the car, all right? So there's a high pressure and a low pressure side. And power steering lines on all cars are known to leak. Some models don't, but most cars do. And you can see very good on this one. Let's go to the other car and I can show you just a little bit better. It's like, bless the poor M5's heart. I want to make videos on it and show stuff, but the engine bay is so damn tight, you just can't, you can't justify it. So this car is pretty open, so you can see a little bit better here. Here we have the power steering reservoir sitting right up top. On the bottom, it has rubber lines. This one's still kind of hard to see. There you go. Rubber lines, the hose clamps on it. And then on the other side, it has a high pressure line that goes down to a high pressure fitting. All right. So essentially, if you have a leak, eventually you're going to run low on fluid. If you run low on fluid, you get air in the lines and the power is steering. And at that point, it's going to start making noise. All right. I'll check this wire right here. You see this one's pretty much totally full right where it should be. A lot of times when you go to check them on the dipstick here, it'll have a mark or a line. You can see those a little bit if it's even focusing. And it'll tell you where it's supposed to be. So if you start hearing noise and you turn the wheel like a... Not a very good impression. But those kind of noises, that's what the problem is. It's low on fluid. However, it could also be the pump. If you run it low on fluid too long and you've damaged the pump, well, that's a whole different situation. Then you're gonna to have to get a new power steering pump, which could be anywhere from 50 to several hundred dollars, depends on what kind of car it's on. Now, all cars take different power steering fluids. A lot of times it'll say on the cap, this one doesn't say it because it's aftermarket, it'll say on the cap what it takes. Like a lot of these older BMWs take ATF, they actually call from the factory for ATF. So therefore we use our Valvoline Max Life, like we showed in previous videos. You could use whatever ATF you want in that. It's not gonna make too much of a difference, right? Or they use the CHF 11S, one, and there's different variants of this. So you really gotta look and make sure if it doesn't say it on the lid, you have to look it up and see what your specific car takes. If it's a Chevy or a Ford, they take just like standard fluid, right? Even those could have different engines and take different variants of that. Now, a lot of times you see come through here, cars that don't, the power steering's jerky, there's a problem with it, right? And on most of these reservoirs, there's actually a filter in the bottom of those. A lot of cars have that. That filter could be stopped up. Also, it could have the wrong fluid in it. A car that's supposed to have 111 the CHF 111S, and it has transmission fluid in it. Transmission fluid is a lot thicker. It's not made for that. It's not gonna flow through the system correctly. And a car that's made for the transmission fluid or a thicker viscosity fluid has like a Chevy, Chevy power steering fluid in it. It's not gonna work. It's gonna be jerky. It's gonna be making noise. It's not set up for that weight fluid. So you have to watch that a lot too. I mean, overall, if you catch it in time, you do the maintenance in your car. If there's a leak, you fix the leak. And you don't just keep adding to it until you get a big mess under your car. Uh, you're never going to have to replace a power steering pump. Now, a few cars have pump failures not due to low fluid. And that's a different story. But 99% of the time, as long as you keep the fluids topped up and keep all your maintenance done, you're not going to have any issues with it. So hopefully you guys learned a little bit today from this. Try to explain a couple different cars here. If you liked the video, leave a thumbs up. Don't forget... Turn that bell notification on and subscribe to the channel. Thanks a lot. We'll see you later.